Today's video is filmed in France, in the northeast corner of Calais. Marine Custom Battery Walden, or MKB Walden, is regarded by many Atlantic wall experts as a striking example of the technological and intuitive designs of the engineering world firsts created by Nazi Germany at the forced hands of captured slave labour. The Walden battery is a crown jewel. The Decaturn SK gun bunker which could rotate 360 degrees and is the only one in existence. MKB Walden is slightly north of Battery Oldenburg and due to the combined firepower it was nicknamed Hellfire Corner. The unique layout and the lack of large casemates makes Walden a very interesting explorer. Constructed in its present form in late 1942, it housed personnel bunkers, ammunition storages, a kitchen, sanitary buildings, a medical facilities and a fire control bunker. A garrison with six senior officers, 36 non-commissioned officers and 200 soldiers manned the busy battery until captured by the Canadian 3rd Infantry Division as part of Operation Undergo in 1944. This is where we're here, this is where we're here. I think this is the beginnings of the casemates. It is there, yeah. It's probably the first no entry zone. Mines present or something? What do you reckon? Ooh. Yeah. Something zone, it says. Well, that used to be a little firing position. Yeah, little sentry's firing position, and that's been hit quite bad. A scared German soldier would have been in there at some point. I think they were definitely shorter than you, anyway. Yes. I'm not sure how grenades were that powerful, were they? They are if it's in a confined space. It, it, it like bounces off the walls. It's right. definitely blown out. Yeah. Yeah, that something's gone in and gone pop. Yeah. Little sentry's point. You think you drive down? You come down this road. That's going to be your yeah. first. You know, little firing slits in it, very small firing slits, just enough to get a rifle barrel through. Ian's kind of height, isn't it, really? The sun is really beating down on us now. I haven't found the way in yet. Is this the way in? Yeah, see ya. Yes. Let's go in, viewers, and have a look. Hello. Hello. It smells oh, worse on the outside than yeah, the inside. Yeah, uh, If you come over here and look at the look at the angle of the door that we just come in. On that one. Come in, Chris. Oh. Yeah, it's all right. like it's big time. Yeah, yeah. This has had a big knock, hasn't it? It's sort of fallen away from itself. Yeah. So I think this was a little... That looks like a door. And that was a window. So this has been a little... Like, shelter? Yeah, I don't know. You've got a vent at the back there. Oh, yeah. Got a bit of generator in here. Engine. Could have been, yeah. I don't know. This That's is the thing about these World War II German bunkers, is they all look the same. Yes. Pretty much, you know. Yeah, so... That's the walls a, are very rough. That's quite a big bang in here, though, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks. Oh yeah. You know, and how many? How much ton have we got above us here? Oh, two. One. Two. 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 Oh, the rest. Yeah. Put a zero on the end. Yeah. Two ton per square meter. If Probably. If slid off there, it'd just be like, it'd be like squished. Pancake. What do you reckon that is, Dan? What's that? What's that? What are you looking, Chris? And it confirmed when I was inside. Shot from a shotgun cartridge. Oh, the yeah. shotgun cartridge is in there. So I, I thought that, and I was like, it must be because there's cartridges shot. in there. Yeah, yeah, well spotted. Yeah, well spotted indeed. They look like smaller versions of top, don't they? Scaled down like version. Yes. Yeah, the rotary gun battery there. Yeah. We'll go into all these soon, viewers. So exactly keep watching. So we're just leaving that store bunker type building we don't know exactly what it was and then we've got over here 
these look like anti-tank defences it's triangular shaped things but if these were in a row you wouldn't get a tank past those I don't believe to so just like fold up and yeah. it could have been situated somewhere else and just yeah, been moved for a purpose to this, just moved to the yes place yeah. Now, it? yeah you just easy move those with a telehandler well could these be, have been in the sea do that. yeah yeah rows and rows of these in the sea yes oh there's loads of them yeah and there was all sorts they used didn't they whatever they can get their hands on bits of wood and that spiking. yeah they were cleaning up for Should decades. Have some swim shorts, really. I'd love to have jumped in there. You can see it. It'd be lovely that. today. Yeah. Just in that bush there, folks. I think I can see the roof of a bunker. Oh, here it is. Oh, wow. It looks like it's been uh, done up. Guardia. Associating. Like vehicle shed, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a uh, yacht club. It's been in use, hasn't it? That's a yacht club shelter. Maybe it's got some English on that signpost. Oh, that's had a bit of a slip. It need pinning. I've got my torch again. Wow, look at that can. Mm. Big old space. I don't think there's a way in. I think it's buried if there yeah, is. It's probably going to be in brambles and stuff, isn't it? Under all that, I think. So that is a that is a yacht club garage. It's cool that they're using it still, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Big old site this boat. Oh yeah. It's cool, it's new for me. Should we do inside first? Yeah. Yeah, because that goes that up looks a little like way. It doesn't go anywhere, does it? It goes to a turret too. Does it? Yeah. The Regelbau, German for standardised design, were a series of standardised bunker designs built in large numbers by the Germans in the Siegfried line. German for West Wall and the Atlantic Wall as part of their defensive fortifications prior to and during the Second World War. There were several advantages to the standardised design and they were absorbed into the organisation Todd. The leader, Fritz Todd, promised Hitler he would deliver the number of structures he wanted along the eastern coast of Europe. This was named the Atlantic Wall. I think the new thing we do is we do inside first, get all the internals yeah. done, yeah. then do the externals. Good idea. That way. Because that could have been the downfall earlier, actually. Yes. Yeah. If we'd already done all that inside, inside first. Yeah, true. Right, we're in, viewers. There's a big bit of metal over the doorway, so be careful of that. Breeze is very nice. Look at that, that must have been the gap between the entrance. Yeah, watch out for that. Yeah, I did bring my There's a cooker, look. Yeah. <laughs> it's one for Chris to sort out. We're bringing it back, folk. Spick and span and ready for sale. There should be IKS there, look. Hello. Machine gun post there, isn't it? Yeah. So, if, uh, yeah. The Americans or wherever were coming in. They would have like the MG42 in that position, wouldn't they? Yeah, it? just set up here, yeah, ready to go. That would be nasty. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh, yeah, and it's even got the clip still to clip it shut. Wow, this has been damaged in here, isn't it? Yeah, they've had fires. Why would there be an oven? I don't understand why you'd bring that in here. Don't know. Crazy crazy. folks. Well, this is dusty. Real dust. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, really fine. There's some going on. We'll be it up later. This has been a very hot fire in here. So it's brought the steel down. It's actually melted the steel. And I think it's been a mattress or a tyre. Wow. It's been on fire. I reckon this factory is sitting some action uh, in combat because of the damage on the walls. Yeah. The There's recent footprints in this it's dust. Yeah, it looks like uh, a splinter Another machine gun post there. Is that another post there? Yeah. Oh wow, look at that. Shit, they don't move. No. Very seized. So cool, yeah. Little hook there for your jacket. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this as well. It's all. I don't remember this uh, like this last time. Yeah, like rough finish on it. You haven't looked around there. I mean, it's proper. That's proper blown to bits. Is all it? The, all the rebar sticking out. So that's had a hit then. Could have been a few grenades in there. Yeah, I think this is uh, gunfire that's coming, you know. That's a round coming in. 
Oh my. So this would have been the firing position. Wow, this is wrecked, doesn't it? Jesus. That has had a big hit. <laughs> Nearly. Look at that. Wow. Look at that hook. Yeah, the lifting points. There were four M270 casemates here at MKB Walden. Two were blown up by the retreating German army. You could sort of see more, there's more of an underground sort of pit. I don't know if it was a magazine underneath or just a pit. People have been living there, look, it's pans. I think it's the immigrants, isn't it? They... Yeah, there's Did a full... They... Oh, mate, there's a full can of casserole there. Is that full? Oh, it is. Should oh, we do Fez's casserole no, channel? I'm tasting that. What's the date on it? That's what I was trying to look for. You've got, to, you've got to open it. Ah, oh, 21. You've got to try it. No, not not that. They're not meat and stuff. Be right. No. Be something cool. No, maybe someone will eat it. We'll leave it. That's like um, it's like an all-day breakfast thing, look. Oh, nice. Beans, sausage, steak. It's got steak with this one. It's like an all-day. Better than peanut. Yeah, <laughs> we should take it so can you heat it up, please. <laughs> As you don't provide proper food. Look at the damage to the, the splinters. Like to the oh, oh it just looks like bloody red. No, that is gunfire. That small arm gunfire that's come in. It's mad, isn't you know, it? on the RSJ. Yeah. That's actually pitted that. I was thinking that was rust. Yeah. But that's been hit by heavy machine gun fire coming in. Yeah. Actually, so that's people on the beach. So this is, you know, this was real D-Day landing here, and they've come this way, fighting the way in, and that's just been hacked to bits. And that's what's broke a lot of concrete up above, isn't it? Because yeah. the rounds have gone into the concrete. Yeah. It's 50 Last cal. Yeah. Coming in. Because they're not like... They're not 303, then. That's 50 cal. Because the rounds are so big. Did it go through that, though? Yeah, it damaged it like that, yeah. When If you think they're only... They're less than 200 metres away is the sea. Hmm. And if they were... On the beach, and the firing ship, up. ship's probably firing as well. I think they fired yeah. before, didn't they, to try and help and destroy the defenses? Yeah, they so used it could the... be Sorry, some bigger shells, couldn't they? Yeah, using the anti aircraft mm. guns. Mad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it actually makes you think, though. I mean, how, how... yes, yeah, so that goes on? up quite steeply, actually. I mean, how many people were fighting in here that was, you know, this is a yeah, this is a real invasion area. You got those slit bits there? Yes. Go out. Did they feed the rounds in through there? But even in there, it's all peppered. Yeah. Where heavy machine gun fires come in. Must have been so so scary for both sides. Yeah. See, there's the pipes here as well. Ventilation, isn't it? It's looking camp. like it, yeah. And them hooks at the top, are they for camo netting? They must be. Wow. Yeah. That sounds like camo netting. Oh, wow. So this was the observation turret. Yeah. Can we do camera work with Fez? Yeah, I can do it. Can you show them around? Just make sure it's recording. Where does it say that? Oh yeah, I see. <laughs> Welcome to the worst footage, folks. Recorded by number one fan. Oh, there's some people there. You can see where the roof is uh, broken up there. turret where Andy is so there'd been someone there with a gun there's a rail on the inside so it would have uh, rotated 360 I'm guessing so there's lots here so we're guessing maybe an invasion come from that beach possibly 
what are possible is here and there is more bunkers over there we're heading to it's they're scattered everywhere to be fair <coughs> it's the one we couldn't get in earlier I'm guessing as well all of these hooks you can see there I'm guessing that they are for the camo nets just to hide it it's all awesome ventilation pipes Stop there, stay there. Right, ready? There's um there's hooks all around the edge of the roof, so I'm guessing that's for the camo nets. Yeah. Around the whole edge of the roof. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty so. good. Over the Atlantic Wall and it was inspected, I can't remember his name. And he was appalled by how bad it was. Well, oh, Rommel, was so it? So it no, it could have been. Not sure. So basically, they, they rushed to put new defences up. So it could have been that a rush because it was so badly defended to what Hitler wanted. Yeah. Um. So they rushed to put more defences up. The lead of the Atlantic Wall in this area was the Todd Organisation, headed by Fritz Todd, until his death on the eighth of February, nineteen forty-two. He was succeeded by Albert Speer. And then when he died, when it um. Albert Speer. Speer. Yeah, he was an architect, wasn't he? Albert yeah, Speer. he took over Todd's yeah. um, uh, roles. Mm. And that's why he's got the organisation organization Todd uh, armband. Right. Because he died. Yeah. Uh, yeah Dr. So Todd, remember, I think they yeah. called him, didn't they? Dr. Todd. Very clever man. You can actually see shrapnel just behind me. Just one. Oh, yeah. And, but, uh, you know, damaged. Yeah, rounds have hit it. Take it. So that's why I meant to do this. Can you imagine being stuck in a fixed position and the Allies were coming? Yeah, oh. you'd want to run, wouldn't you? Yeah. What, what would you do? Basically, you'd just wait to get shot. Yeah, you just, yeah. Because if you retreated, the, the Germans would shoot you. Yeah. There was, there was actually a story of that, of one of the uh, batteries being protected. And the guy actually survived the war because he was saying that they all stormed the beaches and they were running out of uh, weapons so in the end they were using their rifles he said basically his um, superior got shot and killed so after that happened they'll run yeah otherwise they probably wouldn't have been telling that story they've all been no. shot they would have been killed as well it is a kind of senseless waste of life if they can in a war situation run and protect somewhere else yeah. rather than guaranteed to be killed or captured why why uh, stay especially if they've run out of weapons what do you honestly expect them to do they've yeah. got no bullets how can you possibly protect it you finished aren't you yeah so in you a, may as well a... let them run and maybe be of use somewhere else yeah that then war's bad death. viewers yeah it's war not is good, bad is it? right what we got here then folks that looks like a magazine oh. or a general store Cordite, cordite maybe. Yeah. Just a little way from the main gun, just out of the way. Hmm. We don't want the main cordite to close this way. <laughs> no. What's going on now? Oh dear. Yeah. How did it taste? Nice. Nice, mate. Is it one big room? Two small rooms. Someone's had a party. So this has got a vent in that corner. Not really any evidence of fittings. I think that's just where the paint's rubbed off. There's been something there. And that looks like something for a flame-proof lamp. So this is just a store, but very well defended. That looks like it's had an electrical, yeah, like box. something's been there. The, Fire hose maybe? Fuel. Yeah, it could be. Someone's had drank a lot of beer here. <laughs> Look at the size of them bolts in the door, they're hefty doors. Yeah, very hefty. Is it just a square box? Yeah. How's yours? Square box. Same, we'll have a look at your square box. Yeah, you can have a look. yeah I'll have a look at your square <laughs> box. Boxes.
Yeah, oh, it's very dusty. This is a dusty square box. All oh, right, so this is different. The shutter in it isn't finished in here. That one had like a polished surface to it. And the floor is very dusty in this one. But we've still got the, the cut out there for a safety lamp. But no other fixtures or fittings within the room. Ah, there is that thing in the corner again though, that square. So something went there. Then I've just noticed that there. And then there's two more above the door. Yeah, that's that's seen some action there, hasn't it? You can see, obviously, it's come across from the path over there. Firing in. Yeah. So someone's hidden here and tried to fight their way out. On the wall in here, it's all it's shot I didn't even notice that. Oh, God. You smell, isn't it? You don't get this in the English bunkers, do you? You know what I mean? So it makes it unique that, you know, we're standing in the place that action was really. Yeah. Could have been a final stand for something. Well, something big has taken the bottom of that out. Yeah, that's a grenade, I think. There's no, they seem much more poor quality concrete. I don't know if you saw the one in there. The roof, the did you see it? Yeah, it was all damaged. It's quite poor. Yeah. So maybe, you know, a grenade is going to do more damage when the concrete's not brilliant. Yes. It, you know, if this was rushed, done at the end of the war, less material was as well rushed. Mm. I suppose a, a poor bunker is better than no bunker. Mm. Earlier you were saying about the lack of sand. Yeah. I've just noticed something in the concrete. Very stunning. It's yeah. very stunning. There's not a lot of sand in that. Yeah. It's just all, it's loads of cement. But the sand bonds the cement together. Yeah. So that, if you've got a hammer and chisel, you'd be able to just knock, start knocking yeah. junks out of that. So I mean, like, and you've got the opposite there, but it's really stony. Yeah. Not, not very, much sand. Very sand. Not the much. thing is, they might have been told to wash it, but unless you're supervised continuously, they're probably just going to think, sod that, I'm, I'm just going to... Just keep lumping. No, who's, who's going to know when it's built? Yeah. So... It's lumping cement in, yeah. yeah, it's just full of stones, isn't it? Not enough sand in it. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next Thursday at 4pm UK time as we explore deeper into this MKB battery walden. Bye-bye for now.